case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1986, a case that underscored the requirements for involuntary commitment of an individual with mental illness came before the Montana Supreme Court. DRS, previously involved in an armed robbery, was diagnosed with a severe mental illness, which included paranoid schizophrenia. Despite being admitted to a mental hospital, DRS challenged the decision, stating there was inadequate proof of his mental illness. A high-profile psychiatrist who examined DRS concluded that his deteriorating condition in jail, his refusal to accept supervision, and his intention to consume alcohol upon release rendered him a danger to himself and others if left unsupervised in under two months. A high-stakes chronicle leading up to the lawsuit emerged in 1982 when Dana J. Minster, a store clerk at Western Warehouse Foods in Great Falls, Montana, was victimized during an armed robbery. The assailants restrained Minster in a secluded area, leaving him in fear of his life, with DRS identified as one of the robbers. As criminal charges were brought against DRS, a comprehensive psychiatric evaluation underlined his serious mental illness, prompting temporary suspension of legal proceedings and his subsequent commitment to Montana State Hospital in 1983. A year later, DRS was deemed fit to resume the criminal proceedings against him and moved to jail. However, due to the time lapse during his mental health evaluation, the charges were dropped. In 1985, the district court decreeing DRS's release to a supervised community setting, once hospital staff deemed it appropriate, led to an involuntary commitment petition. DRS objected, asserting the evidence supporting the court's finding of serious mental illness was insufficient. Despite DRS's appeal, the court affirmed his involuntary commitment, bolstered by resounding evidence of his mental illness and potential harm to himself and others if released without supervision in two months. The rulings of Mr. Chief Justice Turnage and Mr. Justices. Morrison, Harrison, and Sheehy substantiated its decision, affirming the nuanced legal and medical requirements concerning involuntary commitment in mental health cases. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.